And thank you for joining us tonight. The grave of an East Texas veteran is finally complete. Private Isaac Herring, who served in World War II, died over two decades ago. But as KLTV 7's J.D. Conti reports, something was missing. Private Herring would be very proud. For 23 years, Private Isaac Herring has been resting at Mason Cemetery in Arp. But even his family didn't know that his grave was incomplete. My grandfather was honored by all these people out here. Several weeks ago, complete strangers discovered his veteran marker as they were cleaning up storm damage in an abandoned trailer park near Kilgore. Herring's family says it may have been moved from Isaac's home that burnt down nearby. Today, Isaac's son, grandson, and great-grandchildren were there to see it placed where it belongs. Finally be honored in his grave. The family isn't sure why the stone never made it to the grave when Isaac died in 2000. It's a special day for Jason Herring, Isaac's grandson. He got to show his children a piece of the man he knew. It would be make him really proud that his grandkids and he fought for his grandkids to have a America to, they can grow up in. Herring's stone was escorted by the Smith County Sheriff's Office and the Patriot Guard of East Texas. For Vietnam veteran and organizer David Applewhite, honoring those who served before will always be a priority. His generation endured a lot, a lot, and was thankful. So I figured the least we could do was get his stone in the right place where it belongs, and now it is. The weight of the day was not lost on the youngest. It means that my uh, great-grandfather was somebody in a World War II soldier. We all should salute to him. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. Herring's family tells us he was a recipient of the Purple Heart, which is awarded to those wounded or killed while serving.